Previously on Life is Strange. Whoa! What did you find? Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. We can't trust anybody except each other. You know more about her than me. No. You and Chloe think you know more than anybody. Like all teenagers. Oh, look. The Wonder Twins. What are you doing in my dorm? You are so fucking dead! Nathan is truly psychotic. I know he has something to do with Rachel missing. <sighs> Kate wasn't the first. All those binders are filled with other victims. What are you doing here, Max? Victoria has to be next. What a lame gimmick. Rachel, why is he putting her in the ground like that? Where? The junkyard. Max, we have to find that spot now. Oh. <gasps> Rachel, what? I'm sorry, Chloe. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I know you're close to Nathan, but your life is in serious danger. Nathan just texted me. He says there won't be any evidence left after he's done. Oh god, Max, look. She's still there. Oh! No! Chloe! Look how- What the fuck? and right in front of me.
He took that shot last night. These straps are hurt. Oh shit. Jefferson kidnaps Victoria too? This is so bad. Victoria, wake up. Wake up. me. Looking at myself like that. You'll pay for this, Jefferson. I promised I would never go back in time like this again. But this is the only way. The slightly unconscious model is often the most open and honest. No vanity or posing, just pure expression. Oh Christ, look at that perfect face. Hold that stare there! Stay still! My shot! But please don't worry. We have all the time in the world. For now. I knew you were special the second I saw your first selfie. Yes, I still hate that word. But I love the purity of your own image. Not like Rachel, who was always looking in the wrong places. Poor Rachel. Let me try this angle. Don't move! Oh. Oh, much better. Thanks, Max. If only Nathan could see this setup. He tried so hard. But you can't just throw a few subjects around and expect a cohesive style or theme. But he had an eye for shadows, and an eye for a whole lot more, as his elite family will find out, along with Arcadia Bay. Nice. Good. Oh, those eyes. It's just too bad you're so goddamn nosy, Max. But in this room is under 24-7 surveillance, so all I had to do was text you from Nathan's phone. And you fell right into my hands. You really should have focused on schoolwork, not private detecting with your little friend. Chloe. Chloe, right. Yeah, I'm sorry that I killed, that Nathan killed her in self-defense. But she had a troubled history, like most Arcadia Bay dropouts. Nobody will be surprised. Or care. Though I promise, people will care when you die tonight, Max. I wasn't lying when I said you have a gift. Okay. 
Now this looks good. Maybe a few more close-ups. Max, please do not move so much. I need you posed and framed my way. Maybe a new dose will calm you oh, down. No. No. Now don't move or this no. will hurt much. <laughs> Stupid! Bitch! You just don't listen, do you? In fact, you never did hear much in my class. If you had, you might have seen all this coming. God damn, you are a fighter, though. I've had my eye on you, and I've noticed that you've been more fearless this week than maybe your whole life. Remember my number one rule. Always take a shot. Okay, I broke those vials when I kicked the trolley. Wait, Jefferson couldn't handle stains on his photos. Good, now I can use them. I'd really like to smash that fancy camera into Jefferson's face. Whoa, I I'm definitely more awake in this photo. I could try this one. Victoria. Hey, Victoria. It's Max. Can you hear me? Max. Oh, God. Where... where are we? Oh, what's happening? You've been drugged like Kate. And me. Do you remember how you got here? No. I don't know. Wait. You warned me. You warned me about Nathan. Then, then I went to Jefferson for help and he was acting so weird. That's the last thing I remember. And I can't move my hands. Help me, Max. Please. I'm sorry for everything. Listen carefully. Mark Jefferson kidnapped us. He's using Nathan as well. Jefferson is very dangerous, so we have to get out of here before he comes back. Max, I just can't believe this is real. I don't want to die like this. I'm only 18. Just hold on, Victoria. Nobody is going to die anymore. Max, what's going on? I thought you said Nathan was dangerous, but it was actually Mark? Mr. Jefferson? I was wrong. I should have known that Nathan couldn't do all this on his own. Do what? What's going to happen to us? Oh, please get us out of here. I'm not going to let that asshole get away with this. I just, I need you to be strong. I can't do this alone. We need to act while we're clear-headed. If he doses us again, we'll forget everything. I'm not strong, Max. Look at me. Look what I did to Kate Marsh. Now she's in the hospital, and I'm here. Kate wants us to get the hell out of here. And then we can both go see her again. Okay? I'd do anything to see Kate once more. 
Just to tell her I'm sorry. Victoria, we will find a way to escape. I promise. Max, I believe you. This might work. Please work. I'm getting some spectacular images here, Max. Yes, Victoria would kill to be in your place, but she doesn't understand our connection. You're the winner, Max. I choose you, your portrait. Fuck you. You're trying too hard. I know you're scared. You all have the same doe-eyed look when you wake up here. Replaced by fear as you realize what's about to happen. Mr. Jefferson, why are you doing this? Oh, Max, I'm so glad you asked that question. Uh, simply put, I'm obsessed with the idea of capturing that moment innocence evolves into corruption. That shift from black to white to gray and beyond. Most models are cynical. They lose that naivete. However, some Blackwell students carry their hope and optimism with them like an aura and those lucky few become my models my subjects yes you're a psychopath and this is your last session au contraire max i'm so sane that nobody knows what's happening to you right now as you can see sleeping beauty here is too harsh for my gentle lens and don't get me started on your late partner. I had enough of those faux punk sluts in my Seattle days. Go to hell. You will for everybody you've hurt. Unlike pure sweet Kate Marsh, I don't believe in that bullshit. She could have been my masterpiece. The world is what an artist makes it. And my muse... Kate believed, and she survived. You failed to break her. She's stronger than ever, and she'll outlive you. She'll certainly outlive you. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe I'll pay Kate a visit soon and test her faith again. You will not get away with this. I want you to know that. Too bad you already made a convincing argument against Nathan in the principal's office. Thank you so much for setting him up for me. I do know that the Prescotts are going to have a major scandal when the town finds out what their elite son has been doing for homework. He's as sick as you. Don't judge people, Max. But that's why Nathan never should have been at Blackwell. That makes two of you. I hope Nathan realizes vision. So few people get that chance. You brainwashed him! I became a sort of father figure for Nathan. It happens often in teacher-student relationships. It was kind of touching for a while. Did you tell him everything about your plans at Blackwell? Don't be stupid, Max. I told him what he needed to hear. In return, I had access to the Prescott fortune. Who do you think paid for this glorious darkroom and equipment? How else could I get all these hip new drugs for my subjects? Rachel Amber was your victim, not your subject. Oh. Rachel Amber. Hm. That's the real tragedy. Nathan thought he could be an artist like me. Instead, the dumbass gave her an overdose. Chloe and Rachel. You killed both of them. They're fucking together in heaven right now. Is that what you want to hear? Why? 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 Start listening to me, you dumb cunt. I'm sorry, Max. <laughs> that was not cool, anyway. Rachel is dead. But no tears. Los Angeles would have killed her anyway, so... Look at this as a favor. You're evil. Oh, I see. 
You and your friends almost beat Nathan to death. See, we're not so different. Yes, yes we are. I cared more about Nathan than you did. No, you didn't. It's just too bad that he fell in lust with Rachel. He actually thought he could mimic what I do with the camera and subject, like father, but not like son. Where is Nathan now? Dead and buried. After what he did to Rachel, I knew I couldn't keep him as a protege for much longer. Now the police will never find his body. Do you finally get it now, Max? I can't compromise my vision with amateurs. You are an amateur. Look at the trail of death you left behind. You can't blame all this on Nathan. I don't care what you do to me. You're gonna die, motherfucker. For Chloe and Rachel and everybody else. I do love your spirit, Max, but you brought yourself here. By your own choice. Anyway, I like my models to be seen and not heard. So I have to make sure there's nothing left behind of you. Okay. Now, let's see how these shots came out. I can see why your instant camera is so appealing. You don't need a computer to print your work out. Alone with a heart A battered old heart A heart that needs I have all those photos in my diary. This could be a way out. Is purity personified? Okay. Wait! Please, Mr. Jefferson. Max, I would love to talk shop, but I really need to go over these pictures. Especially while they're fresh in my mind. I think our session was a career high for me. What? What are you going to do to me? I'm going to make you live forever in my photographs. That's all that will be left of Maxine Caulfield. They won't even find your bag. Show me the photos? That's the first time one of my models down here has asked me that. Of course you would. But I love that the last thing you'll ever see is yourself through my camera eye. Too perfect. You still have my diary. Don't worry. Nobody's going to read it. Thanks for reminding me. There's nothing more innocent than a teenager's diary. Oh, look at your selfies. What a waste of talent. Look at that shot, Max. You can do so much better. I could frame any one of you in a dark corner and capture you in a moment of desperation. Shh, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb I'm word. I'm back. Oh, 
wonderful photographic tradition. Right back where I started this insane week. And nobody course, is going to hurt Chloe know, ever again. The portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? The Daguerrean process. Oh. Well, that was easy, Max. Was it? Okay. Well, uh, okay then. So, uh, the Daguerrean process made portraiture hugely popular, mainly because it gave the subjects clear, defined features. You can learn more when you actually finish reading the assigned chapters. Obviously, Max has read them. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes. Time to change time. The winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the First, let's make it real easy to capture Mark Jefferson. And Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Bastard. I have to warn David about Jefferson and the dark room. Did you know someday your pictures would actually alter time and space? I hope I still love photography when this is done. Don't confuse the art with the artist. I should be able to track down David's number from the school pamphlet. Found you. For once, David, I'm praying you'll overreact to this as much as everything else. And take Jefferson down fast. You wanted me to enter the contest, asshole. So maybe I'll be going to San Francisco. And Jefferson... You'll be going to prison. The past within the past. Am I pushing myself too hard? It doesn't matter what happens to me. I have to save Chloe. Victoria, it's nice to know how you really feel. I'm happy to fix it, so you'll be here to get your fancy camera, Victoria. Victoria, it's nice to know how you really feel. Oh, Rachel, I'm sorry. Hi, Kate. Oh. Hey, Max. Kate, listen to me. I am. Always remember that you're not alone. I've got your back no matter what happens. So do a lot of other people. We all care. We're all here for you. You need to know that. Max, that makes me feel so blessed for the first time this week. I, I don't know what to say. That's okay. Neither do I. Maybe we could both use a hug. Thanks. You always know the right thing to do. Victoria. I'm sorry you have to stand next to that psycho. I see right through your bullshit, Jefferson. Everybody else will too. Mr. Jefferson? 
We need to talk. Uh, Can you see I'm talking to Mr. Jefferson now? Yes, I see. But maybe you shouldn't. Uh, and why not? Hold on, Victoria. Are you okay, Max? I will be when Victoria understands that hiding behind a screen, posting videos of people is incredibly cruel and unfair. You're smart enough to know how easy it is to hurt somebody, to destroy their life. I just want you to think about how much it would hurt if somebody did that to you. You can always make the right choice, Victoria. I know you've got a good heart. I've seen it. Listen, I... I didn't... You don't have to explain. There's no reason for you to be so insecure that you can't be happy with your own talent. Wouldn't it be better to lift people up than to bring them down? You could inspire people. Okay, I don't know what you're talking about now, do I, Mr. Jefferson? I think I should stay out of this one, Victoria. Then I guess I'm done talking. And that's okay, too. That was kind of random, Max. What did you mean? Here's my photograph for the Everyday Heroes contest. Oh, uh, that was easy. No. It wasn't easy at all. Well, I, uh... I, I can't prejudge yet, but I'm very... Happy you decided to enter. That means a lot to me. And Blackwell, the, the first step for any artist is to put themselves out there in the world without fear. To be innocent. Or guilty. Ah. Uh, well, and thanks for the photo. And maybe both of us will be jet setting to San Francisco this Friday. Or maybe only one of us will be going. Don't be so modest, Max. Anything can happen in a week. As you're going to find out, Mr. Jefferson. Okay. You're okay, Max. You're safe. On a plane. I hope I did everything right this time. Good work, David. so weird to be in between realities. Everything is out of focus and in the distance. Uh, nobody calls it Frisco, so please don't. We're almost in San Francisco. 
I'm so stressed, but I'm so excited too. I have to admit, I love being called an artist. The beginning of the end for Jefferson and the Prescotts. Aw, I haven't seen Hot Dog Man in forever. Chloe and I used to totally play the video game and watch him all the time. <laughs> when we were innocent. Please fasten your seat and stow any electronic gear until the plane is on the ground and at the gate. Thank you. We're starting our descent in a few minutes. It's a beautiful day in San Francisco with clear skies and cool 60 degrees. We hope you enjoyed your trip, and we thank you very much for choosing Pacific West Air. Come fly with us anytime. Uh, I don't think so. I'm hoping these airline seats get smaller so I won't have to fly at all anymore. I bet this is a nice break for Principal Wells. After all the damage control he had to do this week at Blackwell. Read on the internet. How did you sleep? Hope I wasn't snoring out loud, Max. Just a bit. It's been a tough week at Blackwell. So I hope you'll forgive me. Between Mr. Jefferson and Prescott's, things have been hectic, to say the least. I totally get it, Principal Wells. That's a smart way of telling me to stop whining. We are proud of you for representing Blackwell at the Everyday Heroes Contest. I know I'm not exactly the guide you wanted in San Francisco, but we all want you to have a great experience here. I already am, and we're not even there. Oh, Christ. Another nosebleed? Max, you're not just screwing around with time. San Francisco is so cool, and this gallery is huge. So is the buffet. If an event skimps on the food, you know it's a bad event. As long as I don't have to eat any caviar. This is your day, Max. You can do whatever you want. I hope you take advantage of your status and talk to as many influential people here as possible. Work the room. I don't know. I, I feel so weird, like I'm a little kid hanging with the adults. Max. After this week, you are certainly not a little kid anymore. In fact, you're a noteworthy adult being honored by your peers. Now you have to start acting like the photographer you want to be. Hell, I wanted to be in charge of a big school someday. So I started taking charge of things when I was young. <laughs> Ask my poor classmates. Max, I'm gonna eat up that caviar so you don't have to. Uh, better get in there and start schmoozing. You know, I won't always be here to take charge, but you come talk to me whenever you want. Come on, Max. After everything that's happened, this should be the least scary thing you've ever done. Wowzer, Max. You did it. Somehow. I went from the dark room to this gallery. 
I've been through so many realities in one week. Life is weird. There I am, along with all the other winners. I should say artists instead. Why, good morning. You must be Max Caulfield. Congratulations for your everyday heroes photo. The exhibition is quite impressive, especially with your entry. I heard Mark Jefferson was supposed to be here tonight. Not anymore. That was so shocking. I have one of his monographs, too. Hold on to it. His work is going to be worth serious cash. Not my style, but the neon is a nice representation. Oh, shit. Pretentious alert. Are you Max Caulfield? Bravo on your entry. I'm the art critic for Iris N Magazine, and we would love to include you in a piece about future trendsetters in photography. I'll send you the details this week, if that's okay. Congratulations for your piece. It's great to read all these comments. Even the mean ones. Hmm, that looks familiar. This might be too meta-metaphoric. Aren't you from Blackwell Academy? I wanted to go there, but I didn't get in. They have such a cool program. I bet you're learning a lot. That one is kind of silly. I would love to have this on a shelf. Someday. I like. Oh, but imagine how much time it takes to make one sculpture. Look at this print. The depth of field, the colors. Look at the bulk of shape. This was definitely shot with a medium format camera using a Leica 35mm lens. You can definitely find out those details. The story of a photo if you know how to look at all the details of a picture. Oh, this is so interesting, Matthew. I didn't think you knew about us. When I was younger, I did a lot of photography studies. Didn't I tell you about it, Emma? I was quite good at it, actually. But I decided to drop photography to do a real paying job. Anyway, it is interesting to be here, and you're lucky to be with me here. I can share all this with you. Uh, Dad? The label says that this is a print from a disposable camera. What are you talking about? 